What's up friends? Welcome back to Community TV, a place where nurses and aspiring nurses come to achieve academic career and life success. Please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. In this video, I want to talk about real quick why people don't usually accomplish their New Year's goals and some of these reasons I saw in myself. So I wanted to put it out there because if you're able to identify something, you're able to fix it, right? So the first reason why people don't accomplish their New Year's goals is because they forget about about them yes they forget about them the, you know December 31st or January 1st they always write down a list of things that they want to accomplish in the year and then the mundane boring day-to-day -day life happens they get busy things happen life starts life and and they forget about them so one thing that you can do is to read out all of your goals or look at your goals every single week make it a ritual like every single Sunday or every single day read out your goals and another good thing is to write why you want to accomplish your goals to put even more fire to the flame and that way you will have an internal compass so that every single thing that you do from the moment your eyes wake up in the morning to the moment your eyes rest at night every single thing that you do should be intentional if you really want to reach your goal another reason why people don't reach their new year's goals is a lack of patience we live in the era where everything is ruled by TikTok and Instagram and it has studies have even shown that this has made the brain like um like less less able to take waiting for something to actually reach a goal so I'm in the cusp between millennial and generation z actually and I found like speaking especially to older generation older generations that they're a more able to like work towards a goal and like see little by little until their goals reach and I feel like you know especially in this day and age of social media and seeing everybody have this and that you know sometimes you can feel behind in life and sometimes you may be like oh I have to get this I have to get that but the best thing the best way to actually get something to come to you is to relax let it come to you but at the same time you know you're making steady move active movements to reach to your goal so be patient um if you're not patient you're gonna be someone who starts something and then stop start something and then stop and you have to understand that when you're reaching for a goal, that goal, the definition of a goal is it has not been accomplished yet, right? So there's going to be a series of trials and errors and mistakes. And some of these mistakes may be painful that you have to learn in order to get to your goal. And you have to be able to understand that and accept that, that on this journey, you may experience some, unfortunately, painful things. So... If you are able to understand that and say, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm going to keep going because this is a marathon and not a race, then you will be able to reach your goals. So don't don't spend too much time on Instagram and TikTok because it's going to ruin your brain and the way you think about things. Um, another thing, speaking about Instagram and TikTok, one of the reasons, one of the major reasons why people don't get their New Year's goals is because people are so distracted, okay? I implore you only watch things that actually add to your life that you can learn a lesson from because people spend way too much time on TikTok, way too much time on Instagram, way too much time on YouTube. And I think that's honestly part of the reason why I haven't really been consistent because I don't really spend a lot of time on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube because I don't, first of all, I don't want to compare myself to other people. And second of all, I feel like I could be out living life. Like there's a whole world out there, you know, and, you know, people are just like more socially awkward because everybody's online. So even if the real life distractions can actually also be, you know, hanging out with the wrong people who don't share your same values or who, you know, are discouraging you or putting you down, that can, that is also a form of distraction. Did you know that? Um, this is not a religious channel, but I also feel like sometimes it's spiritual things as well, that sometimes, you know, when you're reaching towards a goal, you see some, for some reason, distractions just start getting in your way. So be cognizant of that and be able to deter distractions, whether online or in person. If you see someone is entering your life and they're coming to take away from you or put you down versus build you up and support you and and like just be a good person 
then you already know. That's one of the reasons. Another reason why I feel like people don't get their New Year's goals accomplished is because of lack of self-esteem. Some people, because maybe they were told that they were stupid when they were little, maybe they thought they told that they would never amount to nothing, or maybe because of maybe they failed stuff in the past that they tried in the past, and they just are stuck in a mindset where they feel like whatever they try, you know, nothing is getting accomplished and then they just they just stay in that they sit in it okay um that's another reason why like if you let your past determine your future as cheesy as it may seem then you know you're just doomed to repeat the same thing like groundhog day over and over and over and over again so make sure that you know you don't let your past determine your future that you're always coming with a fresh new start you may not be like as excited because you know you've been through the ringer but you know you still have to keep going you still have to keep going with that fresh new energy okay and let's see yeah those are the main reasons why and last but not least you know the things that always gets to us laziness mood our emotions For 2024, everybody's main goal is to learn how to manage your emotions. If you can learn how to manage your emotions, you can accomplish anything. What I mean by that is some days you're not going to feel like that. Especially as a woman, you know, during our cycle, like we feel like, ah, but that's powerful in, in knowing that about yourself. Like, oh, I know around my cycle, I feel depressed. I feel dysphoric. Like, if you know that and you know different ways to combat it, like different teas, different herbs, you know, different things, maybe more self-care, then you're able to combat that. So, so yeah. So, don't let your emotions dictate what you do. If you say you're going to do something, you set out to do it, you know, go do it. Make it as easy as possible for you. Set out your gym clothes in the front so that when you wake up in the morning, you could go there quickly. Set out a calendar. Plan out your month. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave it down in the comments below. How, um, what are some mistakes that you are gonna try to avoid so that you can accomplish all your goals for the new year, okay?